we've heard the Mississippi River is too strong to swim in, and there are a lot of factors that really make that river dangerous. It's true, and meteorologist Alexander Cranford is taking a look at all of it for us. The Mississippi River, fourth biggest in the world by drainage area. The water it drains from 31 states and two Canadian provinces can create a flow at a million cubic feet per second. That would fill up six superdomes in one second. The current is as impressive as it is dangerous. Current is just horizontal movement of water. In one minute, a strong current could carry you downriver the length of a couple of football fields. In spring, the water level rises as rain and melted snowpack from up north rush down river. The current is almost five times faster in spring than in late summer. If you fall in, that stronger current can sweep you straight into boats or docks. A big danger is simply getting flung into debris, like trees or even tires and things the river picks up along its banks. River currents intensify where the river narrows. Water is forced to funnel through a tighter space. Like when you put your thumb on the mouth of a garden hose. You give the water less space to go through, so it spurts out faster. Water also rushes faster as it approaches the outside of a tight bend, like approaching Crescent Park. Centripetal force propels the water outward, kind of like when you're driving around a tight curve and you feel yourself pulled to one side of the car. And those dangers are literally just scratching the surface. Along the banks and bottom, friction with the sand and soil slows water down. It flows faster on the surface where there's much less friction. Tulane professor Ehab Maselli says where the fast and slow streams meet in the middle, the water starts to spiral as it heads down river like a corkscrew, turning water up on one side, but down on the other. That downward motion is called an undertow, and it can pull people underwater. Another danger is an eddy. That's an area of swirling water that often forms behind things like rocks, submerged trees, or docks. Water rushes around the obstacle and pools behind it, creating a whirlpool, which swirls around like water draining in a sink, and that can pull people underwater. Ferries and ships can safely navigate the river because they have immensely powerful engines that match the mighty flow. But if a person ventures in, even a good swimmer, surviving is very difficult. And that was Alexandra Cranford reporting. It can be dangerous on dry ground along the river as well. Now, some spots, they can collapse, especially when water recedes and exposes banks that are waterlogged and heavy. Now, that's why you should stay at least 10 feet back from the edge of a river, especially when it's high.